everybody to how I did a garage. Today I'm going to be changing out the key switch on this 2021 Suzuki King Quad 4x4 400 AES. It uh, this normally sits outside, and I think it might be the reason why this broke. Nothing, I don't know. It's Suzuki's key switches is faulty I don't know I haven't really done much research on it but uh, it didn't happen until it rained got real cold froze then I went to go jump on it to chase after my dog that runs off all the time and it wouldn't turn over it, uh, it wouldn't turn over it wouldn't turn it uh it was there just like that and it, was, it was stuck it felt like it was the wrong key so I took this apart took all the pins out of the key mechanism and made it where it would start but the issue with that is is now let me see here now it, you can you can uh, you know anyways you can start with anything i don't need that so especially with this being outside so i hopped on amazon and got a brand new switch assembly I think it was about 14 bucks. I'll put a link or a, a picture right here how much it cost me and where I got it at. But yep, about to change this thing out. So here we go. The tools you need to do this job will be a 10 millimeter for these bolts right here, um, a ratchet. Or impact if you're lazy like me don't need that and uh, maybe a screwdriver for the connector and maybe some pliers to undo this from this assembly so let's go take this off get your boats out once you get the boats out So you don't lose them when you pull it off. This uh, there's two little hooks that this goes on. There's little rubber garments and hooks, and the rubber garments slide onto the hooks. So you have to kind of push it this way to slide it out of the piece. Those are what I'm talking about. Then, then of course you got your connector, which. I found it was easier to get to from the front fender wheel up here. I don't see it, but yeah, right through there. One of those connectors is it. Give me a second now. I'll, I'll find it. So I found it. What I did was I popped these out, this uh, fender wheel out. It's held on there by this piece right here, this connector and that connector. It just kind of pops out. That'll give you a lot better access to everything. And that green plug right there is it. So now I'm about to, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, so I'm gonna disconnect that and uh, show you how to take it out from the top. All right, so after getting the plug disconnected, you'll have to cut this zip tie. And there's another zip tie. I don't know if you can see it. Right down there, you'll have to disconnect to slide that green plug through everything. Once you get those zip ties, well, this one was zip tied. The other one is actually a connector. You can actually pull on it and twist it, and it disconnect, and you can reconnect. But you pull it out through here, and then you are ready to unscrew this piece. Yep, didn't need pliers. Probably still had it loose when I took it out. Then after that, ta-da, got her out. Verify that your plugs is the same, which I believe they are. Yep, should work. Then just uh, reverse the steps. Also, something to note is that on this one I got from Amazon, it is a little bit shorter. So I'm going to have to try to reroute it. Maybe underneath here, through here, 
to get this to fit back in place correctly. Alright, I got the plug hooked up. I'm going to verify that it does work. Alright, time to put her back together. So, that did work. I had to run it underneath here. The bottom of the handlebars to get it to work. But, everything does fit. Everything's put back together. Is it tied up and ready to go well everybody that's all i got today don't have much time gotta go to work but there you go